Notre Dame's last game here at the Dome, 2003. Really turned into an excellent player. into Joseph, who's watching and going to cut and break on the route immediately. You just can't, under any circumstances, throw that pass. I mean, you saw it. He broke on it before his receiver broke on it. So just a really bad decision from Schrader, and he saw it, too. That's what I just can't comprehend. He hesitated, squatted, and threw it anyway. And getting him involved in the pass game if teams continue to do that. Here he is on second and eight. Is Schrader helps seal that end. And Tucker with a good chunk play for the Orange. 6'4", 230 pounds. Tucker this time tackled for a loss. That was Isaiah Foskey in the backfield. He had an amazing game last week against UNLV. Trader gets it up quickly. Pena trying to turn the corner, catches a block, and has the first down for Syracuse. Raider on second and seven. Looks left to the end zone. Touchdown, Orange, Aronde Gaston. His sixth of the season. 53 yards, and Garrett Schrader just settles in and does that. Touchdown to Gaston. So play number one was a pick six for the Irish. They feel like they have a distinct advantage in terms of offensive line against defensive line. You saw a lot of this last week with Mitchell Evans, the big tight end, who will go under center. Here's Pine to pass. Has time and has a man for 11 yards. That's Deion Colsey. Somewhat interchangeable, but he's been the most reliable the last couple weeks. Second and four. Digs again. And you can just see that surge from the massive offensive line of Notre Dame. You mentioned how good Diggs has been recently. Over the last three games, he has 280 yards. Make up what he can. Second and one. Diggs, another first down for the Irish as they continue to march on their first offensive possession of the game. They scored on the first offensive play of the game. Third and three. Instead, Pine's going to pass. And it is beyond the reach of his All-American tight end, Michael Mayer. So it is fourth down. 39-yard attempt for Groupie. And he misses it. It's wide to the right. The pumpkin patch opened. We went that day, I think. Our, our family gets into Halloween. I know yours does too, Tess. Sean Tucker tackled for a loss. And that is Gabriel Rubio. Trader facing a four-man rush. Goes downfield, but it's overthrown as he was looking for the six-foot-five Gatskin. For the Irish, our first punt of the game. And it is a knuckler that takes a great bounce, but fielded by Joseph. Second and four. They stick with it, and it looks oh too easy for Audric Estime and the Irish when they keep it north-south. See Tommy Reese, they're going to run this all day long, this right here. And if you look at Syracuse, their whole defense is going to move left. Pine steps up in the pocket, and having to go down and get it is Thomas. There's a reverse rotation. High punt. Fair catch at the eight-yard line by Pena. Russ's airplane work. <laughs> That's what I want. Did that make headlines? Schrader. They try to fake the pitch. Crowd wanted a flag as he was looking for Cooper. And a flag is down on the near side. So productive and just an outstanding football player. They go with the end around, and Jackson is going to be tackled for a loss. 
back at the 20-yard line. It was a good play by Jack Kaiser. The hometown. Mm -hmm. Here's Garrett Schrader on third and seven downfield. Strike out one an effort to go up and try to get it. Yamari Hatcher, but it's incomplete. It's Brandon Joseph, very dangerous. You found that out right away today. Von Marburg's punt, fair catch at the 45. Katie. Diggs on second and five. Diggs was meant by Jones, who everybody in the program considers the heart and soul, but that final push by Notre Dame. Third and four, pressure off the edge. Pine gets it complete, and he does so to Michael Mayer. Marcus Freeman is not happy with the officials allowing Syracuse to substitute. Not going to matter because Estime can't be stopped between the tackles right now. It's first and goal. The up back is Estime. This time he's met. Syracuse's front does their job, and Cinco Clark came in with that run fit as well. Watch number 45 right here, and watch how low he gets and blowing it up. Just 266. Diggs, and he's in, Irish touchdown, Logan Diggs. <laughs> he's pretty well defended as you can see, Syracuse holding on for dear life, but Diggs just squirms a little bit to the right and finds pay dirt. He went for 11 plays and 55 yards, and it finishes with Logan Diggs with the touchdown. Both Sean Tucker and Garrett Schrader, but Schrader's been quiet with his legs today as well. Up 20% on his completion percentage. They go underneath to Tucker, and that is gobbled up by J.D. Bertrand. And he leads the Irish in tackles. Trying to set up the screen right here. But Bertrand, number 27, sniffs it out immediately and drops Tucker in the back. Again, third punt for Max von Marburg and Cuse. And he skies this and drives it down to the 22. Joseph made the first man miss and a decent return. Drew Pine on third and five. Just a three-man rush. Eight-man coverage, and it's incomplete. Well beyond Matt Salerno. Quarterback throws it away, and now you're off schedule. John Sott, his second punt today. He's able to frame this one up. Get decent hang time. That's muff for a moment. But Pena trying to fight to get it back. Notre Dame claiming they have it. Let's see what comes out of this pile. At the end here, Pena loses it. Tries to jump on it, and then it goes out to the side. How in the world did Syracuse end up with that? I mean, two Irish players right there in Pena. Third and one. Tucker, and he's going to have the first down. First first down for Syracuse. Second and four, Schrader, pressure up the middle, able to extend the play before eventually getting into the grasp of Foskey. And for Isaiah Foskey, that's now 22 and a half career sacks. Just a relentless effort there by Foskey, who's kind of locked up, and see him, he's actually kind of hesitating as he's matched up with Mang, because he knows the Schrader's such a great runner, so he can't rush with crazy. They're down at 11. One man rush against Schrader. Drives the ball, but low into the outside of Devon Cooper. And it's a tumbler. Takes a bounce, and Joseph will return it. And gets himself to the 29-yard line. The Irish have had it their way between the tackles, running the ball. Pine looking for an option and finding one with Colsey. By Pine. Doesn't like the guy in the flat. Gets to number two. Turns his shoulders. You see how he turns that left shoulder? 
Play action on first down. Look at the time he has. And it is intercepted. Jahad Carter. And he's got blockers in front as Carter takes it past midfield. And it's a golden opportunity for the Orange. All these defenders are getting. And guess what? You're going to see his back right out here in the flat, wide open. The guy's dropping out underneath Mayer, and you have a back. Your check down. You got to take the check down right there. When you see all these guys just turning with their backs to you, running out underneath, as you can see Mayer jumping up and tipping it. Third and ten. We're going to stay on the ground with Tucker who just spins inside the 40, wrapped up by Jason Adamilola. And that was a touchdown. Let's see if they find him here on a critical fourth down. Trader on fourth and seven. With a man in his face, a wobbler goes incomplete, was looking for Cooper. Got to get your quarterback going, see if you can't get him into a bit of a rhythm heading into the second half. Tyree on second and seven. And this is right at midfield, which will move the chains and stop the clock momentarily. So it's a first down for the Irish. Tipped a ball that was intercepted not long ago. Second and ten. Delayed pressure. Pine going to go downfield. He's got his All-American. And it's into the hands of Michael Mayer. Thing of beauty here by Drew Pine. You have excellent pressure off the right-hand side by Linton. But look at how Pine steps up firm in the pocket. And still, it's difficult to do this. When you step up and you're forced to be a little bit late to still get the ball downfield enough, oftentimes when you move, that ball's going to be underthrown. He gets it just downfield enough to get it over Barron's head and finds a nice matchup with Mayer. Pine on first down. Goes underneath the mayor who breaks free inside the five. Tries to reach out, but he is marked down with 22 seconds remaining. There's Tyree as the running back. Let's see if he gets the work. They have one timeout remaining. First and goal. Play action off of it to the end zone. Touchdown, Irish Jaden Thomas. Just beautiful design. You fake that, and then you just get one-on-one. -on -one. With your tight end there as the corner's kind of going to peek inside. That's a difficult matchup anyways. I mean, you get a long tight end that can be a little bit more physical. This groupie adds the extra point after the touchdown by Jaden Thomas. they got to figure out a way to get off the field defensively. Notre Dame will receive the ball to start the second half. This is Chris Tyree on the return. And it's a good one. Out past the 30-yard line. Here's Diggs patiently waiting for blocks and just carrying Syracuse defenders ahead all the way to the 48-yard line. You can see Tony White, the defensive coordinator, desperately trying to find an answer for this run game. A defense nicknamed the Mob. And they come up with a tackle there, short of the line to gain. He's been very effective with that play so far. Here it comes. They did it earlier. And they're going to do it again. They go back to it. Do they get the push they need? Yes, they do. But with the wide receiver screen incomplete as he threw it nearly into the ground in front of the feet of Lorenzo Styles. Fair catch at the five-yard line. Watching him before the game, he throws a nice ball, pretty accurate there. It was just well defended by Notre Dame. Third down and eight from his own end zone, incomplete. It was off the shoulder of Devon Cooper, who tried to turn and wrap back to the right, but couldn't secure it. So the fourth three and out for Syracuse. Three quarters of the way in his end zone. And it is not a good looking punt at all. As it goes out of bounds somewhere around the 34 yard line. They're just pushing those smaller guys, not allowing them to move. 
It's been difficult for the Chiefs to defend. Estime again, this time off left tackle. It's another first down. The big running back from St. Joe's Regional. Pretty nice, too. I mean, he's the big back that wants to go A-gap to A-gap, right? Right behind the guard, right behind the center. It's showing right there. He can get to the edge. I'm throwing at that front pylon on the back shoulder. Pine. There it is. As Mayer looked back, and the ball was already over his head into the end zone. A record-setting place kicker at Arkansas State. And he adds to the Irish lead. 24-7 on this day here. Delrio Wilson with time and gets it complete to Gadsden. Their best weapon on offense, finally with a chunk play. Just what they needed is Carlos Del Rio Wilson with a spark for the Orange. Nice throw, too, by Del Rio Wilson. I mean, nice little switch release. Throw it right in behind the Notre Dame defender. Very nicely done. 30 yards to Ronde Gadsden. Del Rio Wilson, this time he's going to be brought down. As that pocket collapsed on him right away. First penalty of the game for Syracuse, Greg. Third and 23. Del Rio Wilson's going to check down to Tucker. And Tucker, as the crowd's saying, where's the flag at the end of that? The defense has had a difficult time stopping the Irish already. I think you need some touchdowns to get back into it. 54-yard attempt for Schmidt is good. It's good. It really is. It, it, a lot of times it wakes a player up and they play much better as a response. Short pitch. Diggs on second and seven. And this is the only place where, as you noted earlier, as Marlo Wax makes the tackle, they haven't had success running the ball, and that's to the outside. You're playing into the athleticism of Syracuse. Syracuse is undersized and fast. So why would you want to run... Dropping eight, Pine with plenty of time on third and seven. Coverage downfield, and then he swarmed. How did he even hold on to the ball with gear crashing down on him? And just relentless pressure there as you see gear tracking. Pine had an opportunity. It just had to happen a little bit faster. And as you're a right-handed quarterback rolling to your left, it's so difficult to get around and get set and ready to throw. He just can't do it. Now you can sense just a little bit of energy here at the Dome. They tried to come after John Sott's punt, and the fair catch secured near the 33-yard line by Pena. Pena motions out on third and eight. The real Wilson has been somewhat fearless just stepping into this spot. And here's Tucker as he lowers that shoulder at the end of the run on third and eight. They got pressure, is picked up. Del Rio Wilson on the run, gets it complete as he goes to Alford. Big target downfield at six foot six. Del Rio Wilson with time, good arm, and inside the 10. He just fired that to Demarcus Adams. Bang eight glance, up and over the top of the defender, and a great catch. He is spinning it. First and goal. Tucker. Can he get there? Yes! And that train horn sounds a little louder now, doesn't it? Right here, a little handoff on the sweep. And Tucker gets to the edge. Couple defenders kind of lurking inside, anticipating inside run. And Schmidt caps it with the extra point. Drew Pine and the Irish against the three-man rush. It's really been impressive to see the response. Second and three. He's going to keep it himself, and it's a good pull. And a answer because now we've kind of been putting a little bit more attention to the passing game because that's what killed him on the last couple drives. Well, the running game starting to come alive a little bit now with Del Rio Wilson doing some of the work. First down to pass again. Batted in. Third and six. Drop back Pine to the outside. And that is caught 
for an Irish first down by Colsey. Six. And kind of bobbled initially there by Colsey as he's backtracking for it, but good concentration to secure it. And an excellent conversion there for the Irish. Expect to get back to the ground. Estimate 17th carry of the day, and it's a touchdown. 11-yard touchdown run from Aldrich Estime. Well, I love it a lot, especially if my tight ends block like this. Look at the right-hand side, Evans. Look at how long he has to hang on that block, driving the defender off the ball after it felt like everything was starting to go against him. Isn't it amazing how one turnover... Brought down right away. That was Foskey. He's a heck of a player, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Right there. I mean, he just goes a little speed to power, but he keeps his eyes inside, man. That's what I like so much about watching. It's Syracuse three and out. Their sixth punt today. Oh, it is blocked. It is blocked again. Notre Dame with another blocked punt. Time and again, this is happening. And you see just rolling right off the left side. I mean, unblocked, untouched. I, I don't know how you can let that guy just come free. I mean, I'm not an expert when it comes to punt protection. Might be the thing I know least about in, in football, but I mean, I don't know how you have a fast guy. By the way, that was James Williams, the puncher there, as Notre Dame takes it in for the touchdown. As quickly, Estime just puts it right in. So James Williams came in to punt for Von Marburg. As Estime goes in for the two-yard touchdown. And Groupie attack on the extra point. It completely changes games. I and mean, when we were on the call for Florida State LSU, I mean, special teams totally determined the outcome. Real Wilson, good job to keep it alive and gets it to Sean Tucker. And a better fan experience. Other side of the field for Del Rio Wilson as he gets it to Yumari Hatcher. Look at the time he has and gets it complete to his big target, Gaston. And now the fade. And in the end zone, it's a touchdown to Demarcus Adams. There's some fight and some talent with Del Rio Wilson that you're seeing here in this second half. Really nice, too. By Adams getting over the top but getting behind the defender. It looked like the defender there, Lewis. It's almost like he was playing for the back shoulder. Did he step out of bounds prior to that? Oh, uh, that was close. It was close. Pushed it to 21. Syracuse came down the field with Del Rio Wilson passing the ball. Another six minutes to play. Estime, as he has done time and again today, just going straight through the middle. Look, this is a team that's very physical. This would be a war. It might not necessarily as the backup quarterback now in for the Irish. And all you have to do is hand off to this guy. Estime adding to his big day. As Steve Angeli is the true freshman quarterback who's in now to close out this game. He is done. The offensive line, I mean, Estime, especially at this time of the game, I mean, shoot, man, 55 minutes, 56 minutes, and now I got to deal with a 230-pound. He's been handing off to Diggs and Estime, and now third and goal. As Diggs is going to get stacked up at the line again. That was Kayvon Darton. So that's something that they'll start with in film room tomorrow when they get back to work. It's, man, hey, we did it. We figured it out at the end. Groupie. We'll just tack on three more. 41 to 24 is what this looks like. Very, very interesting. And that's really the last big hurdle for the Clemson Tigers en route to a potential 12 0 season. And Botello gets to Del Rio Wilson. 
receivers have definitely left some plays on the field for the backup quarterback, Del Rio Wilson. Third and 17. Botello again tracking him. Action on top rank boxing from Madison Square Garden. Fourth and six for Syracuse, as that's incomplete. And obviously, listen, there are so many stories we cover in sport. It's going to be really interesting to see what Notre Dame does from here. I think they are a dangerous team, especially when you look at what SC has potentially in front of them and what Clemson has in front of them.